Hey there everyone, it's Misty here from the Jolly Pet Elf. I thought you guys might be tired of the voiceover videos right now and I thought I would do this one with real time. I am actually filming this on December 16th and hopefully if I've calculated correctly, you're watching this on December 28th. And if you're not, I don't know what happened, but there you go. <laughs> so I've spent the last three days pre-filming. So every card that you've seen starting the 17th until like the 4th of January were all filmed on the 15th and 16th. So just let that set in how many cards you've seen <laughs> since then. I'm exhausted, but that's what happens when you have to have hand surgery and you want to make sure that your lovely subscribers um, have content. So today we are not making a Christmas card. I am done with Christmas cards. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm really sorry that I didn't give you more content or more ideas using those two Simon Says stamp kits. Honestly, I really loved the stamp set from the first kit, the one that had the Cartabella paper in it with the blue and the red, but that paper just, like I sat down here and probably for like two hours tried to come up with more ideas and I don't know if I was just done or what, but I just couldn't. And I could have created a hundred projects using that Echo Park paper, so... But that's it for this year. Hopefully when I get my um, January kit, I will be able to give you tons of inspiration. So moving on from that, today we are making a card using this Yeti to Party from Darcy's Heart and Home. Um, I don't think they have Instagram. I tried to find them and I couldn't find them. So, But I'm using the Polar Bear and I hope your day is good to the last drop. I have a friend um, who actually we are visiting on the 29th. <laughs> in real time who um, has a birthday in January and enjoys coffee. She is a white mocha kind of girl. So I thought I would stamp this little polar bear for her. I'm gonna be using a couple of pieces from the Festive and Frosty um, card pack from Penny Black. It is a Christmas theme pack, excuse me, Christmas theme pack. But there's enough patterns in it. I mean, I think maybe two or three of them are like, Christmas like the ornament ones, but the rest of them are more kind of wintry themed And I'll show you what patterns I picked in just a second I am stamping this on my Stamparatus while I am no longer a Stampin' Up! demonstrator I think this is a fantastic tool And I also have a Misty. You guys saw me use that for years before this one came out, but I love the um, The plates because I can have 43 images going at the same time and that's really good for someone like me. So let me take my images out for just a second. I'll show you my paper pad. So I am using these two pieces. And um, I loved the mittens and I thought it kind of went with um, our little polar bear. And so this is my color scheme and um, gorgeous. No, why do I always do that? Granny apple green. Um, probably pool party for sure and then this almost looks like rich razzleberry so maybe we'll do that are those rich razzleberry rich razzleberry yep and that's probably enough for now we'll see if i need to add more actually i may bring in a little bit of this this looks like crumb cake to me so those are the colors I'm going to use. Once I'm done, I'm going to adhere these together and cut them out with my, um, this is the largest rectangle from Stampin' Up's new stitch rectangles that I think the catalog goes live on the 5th or the 8th. Um, and then I'm probably going to cut him out using the largest stitched circle. Whatever I did with it. And I just had it for the last card. Here it is. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, surely I haven't lost it yet. So he's just going to fit. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to speed through this part because it's just going to be some easy coloring. But um, yeah, so I'll catch you up when I'm done.
This is the reversible ribbon. Again, that's going to be in the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. Gonna adhere this ribbon with washi tape like I always do. Isn't this paper so yummy? Oh my gosh, I love it. If you missed it, see there's like, there's ornaments and pinsettias, but that's really the only ones that are like overtly, like this doesn't have any words on it, it's just birds. So it's more, to me it's more like a, a frosty, like wintry, I love these, but yeah. So, love, 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 love. So I recolored my bear and used petal pink instead of this pool party, and I kind of like this better. I think he still looks like a polar bear. He's just got a little bit of color in him. And a lot of polar bear, <laughs> a lot of polar bears have that yellowish tint to them, warmness to their coat. So yeah. This image is cute as can be, that's for sure. Any card you see me make can be made into a set if you're interested. Make sure you just reach out and let me know. So we're gonna put him to the side. Can make a bow. So this is kind of a, a satiny ribbon. So I'm gonna bring in my lighter, turn it on, and you just need to go whoop. That just stops the ends from fraying. Okay, okay, don't do it a long time. Just a whoo, real quick. <laughs> tear and tip, because tear and tip. Look at that. So stinging cute. You know what this needs? Yes, I agree. <laughs> Some glitter enamel dots, yay. Gonna bring in some Costa Cabana ones. Not quite the color we use to color, but it is a color that's in the... We need one more. He's kind of long. We'll give him three.
you've never used one before, they come like this. Take it off like that. Back on. You give it one little squeeze. You give it a minute to come down. There you go. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had the merriest Christmas if you celebrate whatever you did on December 25th and 24th. I hope you, I hope you had a fantastic time. I will see you on Monday for another card. Thanks so much, bye for now.